Hi, this is Matt with LSAT Correct. In this lesson, we're going to get very specific and talk about four templates you need to know down cold when it comes to conditional statements. We already referred to the most basic one in the last lesson, which is simply, if it's a dog, then it's a mammal. There's a dog outside, therefore I can conclude that it's a mammal. That's known as the positive argument structure. I give you the sufficient condition as a premise, and you're able to successfully conclude the necessary condition. We also alluded to something called the contrapositive in the last lesson. That's also a valid structure. It's where you negate the necessary condition and you're able to conclude that you don't have the sufficient condition. If the thing, animal, or otherwise outside my apartment is not a mammal, I can definitely conclude that it's not a dog. Those are valid. Now for the two traps that they're constantly going to throw at you on the LSAT and that you must avoid. The first one, known as the converse fallacy, is when they give you the necessary condition as a premise. Hey, there's a mammal outside on my front lawn. What can you conclude from that? You can't conclude anything. Remember that. If they give you the necessary condition, you can't conclude anything. I mean, it could be a dog, but it could also be a human being, a bear, a koala, could be any number of mammals. The other fallacy is the inverse fallacy. That's where they give you as a premise that you don't have the sufficient condition. They say, hey, the thing outside in your front lawn, it's not a dog. Again, what can you conclude from that? The answer, nothing. It's possible that the thing outside might not be a mammal, but it might be a mammal. Again, just because it's not a dog, doesn't preclude the possibility of being a different type of mammal. So to recap, if they give you the sufficient, you conclude the necessary. If they negate the necessary, you negate the sufficient. Those two are valid. The two traps, just remember the following rule. If they give you the necessary, you don't know anything. If they give you the negation of the sufficient, you also don't know anything. If you get comfortable with these four templates and fully internalize them, you're going to significantly increase your logical reasoning score.